I'm a measure it twice, three times kind of guy. So I'm going to come over here and measure some more just because, just because. <laughs> hey, welcome to Sailing Desire, a channel dedicated to pursuing passions. I'm Frank, and this is Jessica. After getting fed up with corporate America, we decided to exit the rat race and live a life that prioritizes having experiences over having things. So if you're looking for some inspiration to pursue your passions and fulfill your desires, subscribe and follow along. Thanks. How's it going guys? So today, we're taking a look at the fridge. Our fridge is functional. However, it requires a lot of upkeep and we are leaning towards getting a all-in-one unit, a Dometic fridge, freezer unit that will be installing into the boat eventually. Right now it'll be just temporarily placed. So we're gonna measure a couple areas down below to see where it can best fit. And then also measure a couple areas for where we're going to permanently install the fridge. So uh, let's go down and check it out. So the boat is quite a mess. Our water pump also stopped working so we're bottle water that's just one of the many projects that are piling up wanted to check that out current fridge freezer situation is here as you can see the bottom of this is like bubble wrap and it looks moldy and shit down here we did clean it however the last time we used it there's just a whole bunch of water accumulated and it was pretty gross. The previous owner recommended using ice to help the condenser, which to me just doesn't speak very strongly of the condenser. If it needs ice to kind of help it work, I'd say that it's not doing its job. And there's lots of good reviews on the Dometic fridge freezer combo. People seem to love their Dometic units. Uh, Dan and Kika on Sailing Uma have one. A lot of sailing channels that we watch, everybody speaks very highly of Dometic. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. I think the modern new unit is gonna better suit us anyway. I would long-term like to install it right here in this area. So I guess we'll measure right here and see what kind of space we have. This will be a long-term install, so this probably won't happen right away, but we'll just see what we're working with. All right, so I know that the Dometic is 18 and a half inches wide, so definitely no problem there. We've got 20, almost 25 inches of space here. 24 and three quarters. So the new unit is definitely gonna fit here width wise, length. It's 34 inches. Actually, they have one that's 37 inches. And we were talking about maybe doing that. That would cut it kind of close though, you know, cause we have to be wary of this piece. Cause this is part of the cockpit. So we can't really do much about this. This is exactly 37 inches, so we could fit the 37 unit in here. Uh, I would say that comfort would put me at the 34, you know? 
because you give yourself an inch on each side, you know, you at 36, and then your device is nice and centered, you know, probably here to there. Yeah, I mean, 18 inches deep. So I think we're gonna go with the 34 inch unit. And this area is also a freaking mess, but I'll, uh, I'll be taking some measurements over there as well, just to see what a temporary location for the fridge would look like. So probably somewhere in this area, something in this area. This is our kayak. Shout out to Intex. We got several blow up beds by Intex. So we really love that company. Um, Y'all want to sponsor us? Hit us up. <laughs> So this is my first idea for the temporary location for the Dometic fridge right here. There's a 12 volt port and the Dometic is 12 volt. So I like that, that is right there. Obviously this air is pretty short, but I think it would be pretty easy to extend it out, you know, a few inches. We just gotta see how much space we got. This is, so it'll fit, 34. It actually will fit, let's see from the shortest, 34. So we got plenty of space. We could fit the 37. I, I don't know, you know, the 37 could fit. Let's do our length. 18 and a half, 19. We'd have to take this cushion off. This cushion does come off. So, no problem here. Can I get the cushion back on? <laughs> well, I guess the cushion's coming off anyway. We do have enough space right here. This will cover one of our water tanks. Uh, as I said, our water system's not working right now, so kind of fine with that, honestly. I'm a measure twice, three times kind of guy, so I'm gonna come over here and measure some more just because <laughs> and gotta eat. Just been editing all day. It's definitely time to get some food. I do think that it's cutting it a little bit. Thirty-eight. So we would have a half inch on each side if. Thirty-seven. Obviously, another thing is cost. The uh, thirty-seven costs like three hundred more dollars. But it would fit. It would definitely fit. One week later.
freezer. AC and DC big freezer currently running off the 12 volt so here's our current fridge freezer situation Felt something and I kind of just like grabbed at it and it was one of those bugs. 